Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca and I've got a new release to share with you today from Aura Loa. Um, I do love their canvases. <clears throat> I did one recently um, and the quality is amazing. But this is one of their new releases. Um, and is available on their website now. I was going to be showing you it's a sneak peek, but sometimes international parcels do not behave if you wish them to. So, uh, but that's not a bad thing. You can get this now, uh, along with quite a few other amazing designs that they have. Um, and we do, I do have a sneak peek coming up for one of their future ones but this painting is a square diamond painting um, I'm just going to get the sheet out I cannot pronounce the official name of it however I can say the translation so it's a square painting it is 70 by 50.85 centimeters let me just get that part to tuck in down on my desk. Um, but isn't she beautiful? Uh, I have get quite a quite a few goodies in here. But here we go. This is the name of it. So I can I can get away with the fillet. It's the other part I cannot pronounce. Uh, but it translates to bird girl. I can say that. Um, and it is by, is it Gael Picard? Gael Picard. Nice, bright, fun one. Little bit different, um, but nice. Oh, the website says it is 70 by 50.85 centimetres. And this one, this sheet says 45 by 62. So let's find out which one it is does look a long one though. So across wise it is 45. Oh, actually the website is showing the total complete size including the canvas so that's why. Uh, so it is 40 by 63. Um, 45 by 63 or 62.6 .6, as they put it I would say it's 63 um, so this sheet is the actual size and then the canvas size is what it is showing on the website so they're both right but it is a gorgeous painting say nice bright colours it does have some ABs in it so I am going to dig those out um, I'm trying to think what childhood TV show this reminds me of and it's escaping me it's not the same it's just it's got a feel of I think it's this hat that's making me think of it maybe some of the flowers around the outside uh, but it is beautiful it has 52 different colours Oh, it has a couple of special diamonds by the looks of it. So we have uh, five AB codes, but then we have two that are something else. Z23 and Z155. Oh, we have some little round diamonds in with it. And you see here, they're like these bigger dots. That is number 52, and then number 51, I'm trying to figure out where number 51 is, and I'm probably looking in completely the wrong, oh no, 51 is down here, I was looking in the wrong place. It is on each of these little sort of flower parts on flowers slash baubles on her cardigan. Oh, that's made me even more interested too crack this open. Uh, first off I will show you the toolkit, you get quite a lot in the toolkits and um, just to show you, look there is an abundance of things in this toolkit. So we have, oh that's cute, so that's like, it's like on an acrylic 
plaque, pretty tough, but we have uh, an Oraloa turtle, looks like a ninja turtle, uh, with thank you, and the same in a few other languages, and we have the turtle, turtle with the other little um, symbols that the company often uses. Uh, you get, so you get those uh, greetings from Oraloa, trying to work out if they're stickers. They feel like they are, but maybe they're not. Oh no, they are. They did feel like they were stickers. So you do get a couple of little stickers. Uh, you get a pen with a three placer and a single placer. You then get a multi placer as well. You've got your pot with is it three or four, three little circles of wax. So plenty of wax, a squishy to make your pen soft tray, some gorgeous blue tweezers, the spiky ones, and you get the Oraloa washi tape, um, which is always nice for going around the edges. Nice pretty Oraloa tape there. <coughs> so you do get lots and lots of bits in with your toolkit. There's probably a way to put these together back in the most efficient, which is not me today. So let's get them to pretty much go back in. I won't be rolling it back up with the diamond painting anyway. I often take the toolkit out. Uh, they do also give you a sheet. It does give you a code for your next purchase. Welcome to or a lower and some instructions and things in multiple different languages but instructions on how to diamond paint um, and some little tips and tricks again multiple different languages which is really good um, you do get your sticker sheet with your individual stickers for kitting up your diamond paintings um, but yeah I just thought she was so so sweet so this is the painting itself. I want to see one where the ABs are and second what these extra added little bits are. The ABs look a gorgeous colour. So this one is a square diamond painting and here are the special diamonds. Look at that, all on the top for me. Fantastic. Because I do like to see where the ABs are. Um, ABs, I love it when ABs are scattered throughout. So we do have 321 AB, which is this beautiful red. Uh, for this, it is around the inside circle of this flower. So if you can see the shading, it's this big circle here. Uh, it is her hair. So it is all this part that waves down, but then there is a part right next to her face that's not AB. And there's a couple of parts in this part here where it goes darker, it's not AB. But these little trails of her hair and this block of her hair is AB's. And then on this flower, again, it's this sort of inner circle here that's an AB, and you have a little bit of a top as well. Just check in, there's none mixed in with a hat, but no, that's where your red ABs go, which there's a chunk of them. Then we have 444 AB, quite a few of those as well, that's a yellow. Uh, that one is the letter A. So this lighter coloured, stripe can you see the sort of two one that's got a little bit more of a greeny tone and one with a yellow tone it's this yellow tone one then you have a little bit here so it's there in a hat but then it is scattered elsewhere so we have a little part around this flower we have some scatterings in this one more so around the outside edge but there is a little bit that scatters in the middle uh, we have some little scatterings down here and again a little scattering in the daisy some little scatterings around here of the ABs there a uh, little bit of scattering around the outside parts of this flower 
another little scattering here and a couple up there. We've got some more in this flower. Uh, the little yellow stripes of the B are in AB. Uh, there's also some little scatterings around in this flower. This one has two different colours. So it has an AB and it has a standard number two, which is 307. So this lighter colour actually has a mixture of the two. We've got a little bit here on this flower. We've got a little bit going around where you're going to put the circle um, on these. And again, we have some more scattering throughout this sort of yellow bunch down here. Then I have 905AB. This is the letter M. So it's quite a dark, darker green, this one. This one is in this leaf, the bulk of this leaf, though there is some that doesn't have it. There's a little line of it down here just by this little leaf. And then if we move our way up, we have some in this leaf here. Uh, we have quite a bit in this leaf here, though that darker part is a different colour. Um, I'm looking in the old leaves now. Then we have it in this leaf. Again, the darker part of this leaf is a different colour, but the lighter part is the AB and there's none on a hat so that's where that ab is then we have 376 ab one of my favorite ab's apart from white it's just a gorgeous blue absolutely gorgeous blue color um so this one is the letter t so this blue is the bird so the main body of the bird is this one and then it is also the centre of this flower, not so much the parts going up, but the main centre of this flower. And then it is also around where these circle ones will go. So these are going to be very sparkly little dots. So that's where your tea goes. And then last but not least for the ABs, we have 552, which is a purple AB. And... I'm expecting this to be in here, but is it? It is. So we have a stripe of it up here. So we're going to have some red AB, then some purple AB, then some yellow AB. And then this centre part here, where again we have those circle ones, this centre part up here is also that purple AB. And then for your extra little bit, we have these gorgeous circle rhinestones. So this is the one that goes down this stripe. And if you think it's going to have the rhinestones mixed in with the ABs and then with another purple around it. So you're going to have quite a bit of different sparkle depending on how the light shines. So they go on these down here. And then the ones that go in with both this yellow and this blue colour AB are these little yellow rhinestone circles. So they will mix in with those two. And you have the one in the middle. Uh, not loads of AB. Some of these have more ABs in the yellow than others. Some of them just have the plain colour. It's a mixture between the two. So this has um, like a full square round in this AB and then it has a, a plain colour. This one has full round and then a plain colour, but this one only has it on one side and this one only has a little bit on the top. So it is quite varied. Uh, but each one of them has one of these little rhinestones in the middle. So I like that. I like the fact we've got something a little bit different. ABs concentrated in the hair. These spots down here. I mean, they're not spots, but you get what I mean. These circle ones. Uh, you've got them scattered about the flowers, the bumblebee. Um, these flowers, some of the leaves, but not all of the leaves. And of course, some of her hat as well and of course you have 
a load of other diamonds to go with it. Oh, that's a nice colour. It's not a bright colour. What's that one? 3808. That is a gorgeous teal colour. Oh, which one's, where does that one go? Number 33, I like to have a look now. Uh, so it's the plus, it's actually this background here and here and all this here, all this background is this nice moody, moody, greeny blue, nice deep, deep, deep teal colour. That is gorgeous. I like that. I think it jumped out at me because it had like three bags and there's a slightly lighter one as well for some lighter shading but maybe it's because it's getting colder it's a nice moody color that isn't it moody not in a mood there is a difference <laughs> uh so yeah bird girl as translated and as i can say quite easily um by the way there is sparkly on all bumblebees not just the one um yeah she is available to purchase now i will pop a link to her down below uh, but there are many many other new releases um, that they have released recently and they are a really really nice um diamond painting to work on I recently did a summer one um, and the quality is really good. So I'll pop the link down below so you can go and check them out and have a little browse for yourself. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.